We're at Cannon Beach. Um, the last couple days we drove uh, 15, 15 hours from Susanville up through Eugene to Florence and then up the coast to Cannon Beach. And we drove some of it in the dark at night, which was terrifying. And also we hit a fence and a couple bushes and a few other things. And so I figured it was time for me to make a video about how to drive a school bus since I've got like 20 hours of experience now. I feel like I feel like I'm ready to ready to teach this thing. But first, we are going to play at the beach in the sand. All right, so we're done at the beach. We got all of the sand out of all of the places and now we're gonna pack up because we only got one night at each place because we call the day of and ask them what their availability is. Um, so we've got 20 minutes to pack up, which brings me to my first tip. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. You gotta make sure you check everything before you start driving. The first thing you wanna check is that all of your compartments are closed all the way. There's nothing more <sighs> embarrassing than being on the road with your flaps flapping everywhere. All right, 10 minutes left. You also gotta check your oil. Also your coolant. And also your tire pressure. These things are sweet because you can check the back ones and the outside ones. And then you close up all your air because you're supposed to open those every time you park. The last thing to check before you take off is your air brakes. And they said to pump your brakes and then once you get below 60 you should have an alarm that goes off, which is a good thing. And then to let them fill back up and if you rev it to like 1500 it should only take about a minute for the air brakes to fill back up. Um, and then when you turn your engine off, it should stay at 120, and if it doesn't, then you're leaking air, and that's not good. But if everything checks out, then you can start driving. And then you just turn it on, check your mirrors, and then you gotta wait for your air pressure to fill up, and then we drive. Where do we do this? We're going north? We're going north. All right. And then we're gonna wait for the push to go for the wheels, and then we're gonna go. All right, my first tip, second tip, I guess, first real tip, is to take it slow. Because you don't want to end up like this dumb old shipwreck going so fast that you just run into the beach. So if someone's behind you, flashing their lights, honking their horn, giving you the finger, just chill out. Take it slow. Don't go more faster than you're comfortable with. Don't go faster than you're comfortable with. And just chill out. Take it slow. Take it slow. Take a deep breath. Take it slow. If you hit the speed limit, you're doing a good job, but pump those brakes, just chill out. Especially going down a hill or around a curve. Those yellow signs that say 35 or 25, just do what those signs say and you'll be all right. All right, the next tip is to multiply. Whatever Google Maps says your trip is gonna take, uh, multiply it by like 1.75. So we had a seven hour trip take us 12 hours and we had a 20 minute trip take us 40 minutes. So just whatever you think you're gonna do that day, multiply it and plan accordingly. You're excited, you just got your schoolie done, and you're like, let's go to the Grand Freaking Canyon. But you don't wanna try to tackle a 20 hour day your first time, so baby steps, baby steps. Take it slow. Another tip is watch your six. So you may be good on the front, you may be good on the sides, but when you're turning, your butt actually kicks out a little bit and you don't want to do this all the way down the side of your bus. So watch your six, take it slow, check the front, check the middle, check the back, 
Use your mirrors, take it slow. Another tip for driving a school bus is to swing wide. You got yourself a nice long load, so you don't wanna cut corners tight. You wanna go straight and then cut it. And I've got a flat nose bus, so that means I can get like right up into people's business and then crank it. And I found that if you like go a little too far forward, it's easier to stop and then cut it a little tighter if you need to. Then if you cut it too tight, then you're like stuck up against the thing and then you can't wiggle your way out. So swing it wide, check your mirrors as you turn, check your back, check your sides, check everything, go slow around the turns. The biggest, the hardest thing is the intersections when you're turning and trying to squeeze into small spaces. Going straights, no problem. Also, another thing, have fun. You're driving your house around. You're in a school bus. Have a good time, enjoy the ride. Wave to people, say hi, give the thumbs up out the window, and uh, you know, just remember, you're going to some fun destinations, so just take it slow, get there when you get there, and enjoy yourself, just like Jovi's doing right now. Yesterday we made it home, back to our big house, um, and our bus is parked across the street at our neighbor's house because um, I need to cut some bush down before I can park this bus. Tip number 17, if you need to, cut stuff down to make the turn. <laughs> we'll get back to some more real tips. All right, we got the bus parked straight up into the bush. We had to like cut a little divot out so we could pull in and not be blocking our driveway. Um, but we made it home, we're parked. Bus is getting cleaned up for um, our friends to move in here in a couple days. And we're gonna just finish up the how to drive a bus video right here, right now. This has taken me like six weeks to film all this over uh, like a couple hundred miles and three different states. So we're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it right now. How excited. So next tip is the most important for me at least is to have a good co-pilot. You need a good co-pilot because if you need a snack while you're driving or if you need directions while you're driving, which I always need directions, I'm getting lost constantly, or you need someone to talk to, you need someone to change the podcast for you, you got to have a good co-pilot to throw apples your way when you need an apple. Um, co-pilot, really important. Where are we going? Where do I turn? Where am I going? Where do I turn? Can I have an apple? Can I have a snack? Need a snack? Snack! The other thing I like to have while I'm driving, I already, I just said it, is a good snack. It's nice to have a hands-free snack that you can eat while you drive, maybe some sunflower seeds, chew some gum, an apple, maybe a one-handed snack, some carrots, something just to keep you awake, keep you focused while you're driving. Uh, you don't want like sloppy joes or anything crazy like that, but I like to have me a good snack. And also maybe a good, a good podcast to have going on or some music, something to keep your mind um, occupied, keep you entertained while you're cruising along. Another thing I learned while driving is that I want to be a little further left than I'm comfortable with because the bus is pretty wide. So if you're looking at your mirrors and checking kind of where your back wheels are landing in those lines, you've got like six inches to a foot on both sides of the wheels before you're like over the edge left or right. So I had to kind of hang further left than I wanted to. Um, Otherwise, I'd be like driving in the bike lane like a, a lunatic or like scraping my bus up against the mountainside or falling off a cliff. So um, I, I wanted to hang left. That's my tip is to hang further left. Um, and my theory is that if you're hanging left, other cars are kind of, they're going to kind of fudge away from you while you're driving. Um, and I'd rather have that 
people moving away from me, then if I'm hanging right, I'm gonna hit a mountain, or I'm gonna hit a parked car, or I'm gonna hit a pedestrian. So, um, hanging left, and you wanna watch your mirrors to kinda see where you're hanging in as far as the lane goes. But you take up way more lane than you used to with a little car. Makes sense, right? This, this next tip I got from an actual bus driver, so I know I know it's legit. So if you're at an intersection and you want to go left, but there's like a car there and you're like, well, I mean like 50-50, I might make that turn. Hold on, wait, remember the first tip, take it slow. Wave that person across the intersection. Maybe wave a couple people across the intersection. Maybe wave everyone across the intersection until the intersection is clear and then do your turn. Much better to take it slow, maybe have some people behind you get a little bit upset um, than to scrape along the side of someone's car. And if you wave someone along, usually the next person in line will use their intuition and they'll hang back so you can swing wide that turn and not destroy people's car. Another tip is when you're going down a mountain, you're gonna wanna drop it low because you do not wanna be riding your brakes all the way down a mountain. So drop it into third, maybe even second, maybe even first. If you got that, you know those signs that are like 6% grade for the next 25 miles, drop it into first, get down to like 30, 40 miles an hour and just let your engine slow you down the mountain. Because if you start cruising down the mountain, and you're getting up like 60, 70, um, it's harder to downshift once you're going fast. So if you just downshift early and then work your way up if you want to, but take it slow, go, go slow down, go slow up. Sometimes going up mountains, you get down to like 20, 30 miles an hour and that's just, it is the way it is. So pull up next to a semi truck and just kind of do what they do. That's, what, that's how I learned how to take the mountains is do what the heaviest semi truck is doing and you'll be you'll be fine. And if you stay behind them, people can't be mad at you because you're just following the, that big truck up there. Another tip is called rock and roll. So when you're at like a stop sign or a stop light or a stop area, turning area, uh, this is, I got this tip from a school bus driver. It's called rock and roll. You wanna like, when you're looking at your mirrors, kinda lean forward, lean back, check your left, check your right. And when you rock and roll, you can see more than if you just look at your mirrors like this. So you wanna kinda check your mirrors like a crazy person so you can see the back of your bus and the front of your bus and the other side of your bus. Rock and roll, man, rock and roll. All right, last final tip is if you're nervous about driving a school bus, I would just say practice, practice, practice. Find, the, find a friend that has like a big truck or something and a trailer and just start driving that thing around. It's different with a trailer because you've got like the bend in the middle. Or find a friend with a big old, big old something. Someone with the biggest car that you could find and just start driving that around practice that or just uh, get on Grand Theft Auto and start hijacking buses and practice driving those. Or this is a tip I got from someone is to sign up to be a school bus driver and then take their training and then just don't show up for work. I don't know if that's like ethical or cool, but you sure will learn a lot about how to drive a school bus. I don't know. Um, so I don't know if that's all the tips or all the tricks that you need to know about driving a bus, but that is what I learned over my Washington coast, Oregon, California driving in this last summer. So thanks for watching guys. If you have a tip that I missed, you know what to do. Just share your opinion in the comments below and help everyone else out in the YouTube community. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next week.